back. I, I didn't feel putting the intake on. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to stop right here and say, for some reason, I lost the video footage or just flat didn't record. The time and cover, me putting the balancer on, me putting the intake on. And for that, I'm truly sorry. I'll have other videos that have said things, and um, so we carry on. Got the rocker set. Uh, I went ahead and put the time cover on. And I'm going to show you how to uh, zero the pointer out. Now, if you look down there, because I already got the degree oil, I, I modify the pointer into a point. And then when I get done, I'll, I'll actually silicone that. There you go. Anyway, so the way you start this out is like this. Um, you put your degree wheel on there. You put the pointer you know, or it says zero. We don't know if it is zero or not. Uh, and then you put the degree wheel on and set the pointer to zero. Uh, now to do this. Yeah, yeah. But why are you calling me fat in every video? I may not be a smart man, but I know how to degree a balancer. Or dampener, as my colleagues would say. All right, so what you need to do here is you need to get a piece of coat hanger or something, wire or something you can make a pointer out of. You need to turn the engine so that the dampener or balancer reads zero with the pointer that you have. And you'll see why what we're going to do later. Then you need to put the degree wheel on and zero that uh piece of wire or whatever temporarily just set it at zero on the degree wheel uh, we're going to move that around that's going to be uh, key to setting this whole thing i will show you later in another video how you can actually do this without the degree wheel uh, with just the dampener and a tape measure and a piston stop and it'll get you pretty dang close but for right now let's go back to our previously uh, recorded program. You have to have a piston stop. And you have to take the rockers off of number one. Sean will turn the fan on over there. You like I'm hot. <laughs> the dog turned the fan on <laughs> So, you have to take those off, and the reason is, is because you're going to have to put a piston stop in there, and in order to do that, uh, the valves will hit the piston stop. So, let's talk about piston stop for a minute. You can buy piston stops, or you can make them out of spark plugs the way I did. Uh, this is just a spark plug, obviously, that uh, cuts center. By the way, to get the center out of these... You just grind around the side where it's rolled over and then, and then hit it with a hammer and it'll come right out. And then what I did was this one here, I and it's, it's actually broke now. I need to do another one. But, uh, this is a hood pin, obviously. And I just took the cutoff wheel and cut a slit in it. And it's important you do that because if you don't, it won't release any compression when you're trying to do this. It makes it a bitch. This one's just a piece of threaded rod, same thing, in a spark plug. Uh, this one I got jam nuts on it, so it won't move. But the way we do this is now that we have uh, we we have this set approximately at top dead center. So what we're going to do is now we're going to back this thing off. Can you see over here? Yes. Back this thing off to about 50, 60 degrees. And we're going to screw this piston stop in there. Maybe. And hopefully I got it set far enough in. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the engine back until it stops. And it's Stopped right there, and we're about, of course my pointer's a little bent there, uh, We're and it reads backwards on this side of the wheel, so 
we're going to say that's about 34 degrees. Okay, now we're going to go around to the other side and hit the piston stop again. And it stopped at 32 and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 34 and 32 and a half. We're going to add them together and divide it by two. And, and that's going to be where we're going to move the pointer to. So 30, that would be 60. Yeah, let's just do it on calculator. Ask me. 34, 32 and a half. That's going to be 4, 5, 6. 66 and a half, probably. Mm -hmm. 32 and 34. 32 and a half and 34. 66 and a half. Mm -hmm. Divided by 2. Mm -hmm. That's 32 and a quarter. 32 and a half. 32 and a quarter? Yep. So. We're just going to set it to 33 in a little bit. And we'll come back around. And we're at 33 in a little bit, if you can see that on the yeah, you can camera. See. So, 33 in a little bit. We'll check it on the other side one more again. Thirty-three in a little bit. All right. So now we're going to take the piston stop out of here. <clears throat> and we're going to go in the normal rotation. Well, I didn't clean the rust out of those threads, did I? <laughs> Let me hear get spark plug in. Okay. Now we're going to come back to zero, going the normal engine rotation. And if you pass it, go back and come back to it. Did you fart? Nope. I smell shit. Maybe it's your upper lip. <laughs> <laughs> you have that or Misty shit or so. All right. Damn it, I can't seem to get it. There we go. Now we're at zero. So now, since we're at zero, we're going to check our pointer over here and see where it says, what it says we're on. And by golly, it says we're right about at zero. Right on zero. First time that's ever happened. Hmm. It's because we threw all junk shit on here so it wants to work right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Maybe we should start building them all like this. Just throw shit together. It always does seem like the ones I just throw together. I always seem to work out the best. I don't know why. So, we'll take the degree wheel off. <coughs> We'll bend our timing pointer. It's just a slightly off for just a little bit. Now, what I do to secure these stupid things is, you stick a glob of silicone. is I stick a glob of silicone. Now, the line is actually off from my point. I'm going off the point right there. So, so I will get pull it out just ever so slightly. We're going to put that back on zero. Maybe. Is it going? Mm-hmm. Let me it, see where it goes. I might have to bend it. Uh, Here, let me get in there where you're at so I can. Uh, 
zero. Wipe the silicone off so it don't look like a shit. Ow, I'm cut right there. That hurt. You take this off, right? You take that off, yeah. Maybe. Silicon everywhere. Oh well, looks good enough. Looks great. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we know we've got our mark in the right spot, now I'm going to actually move that back and put a little red paint in that line right there. So my old blind ass can see it when I'm trying to time it. You are both of those things. Thanks. Matt, did anybody ever tell you you were an asshole? I learned it from the best. <laughs> so look at what look at what my daughter's doing over there. She's got my grandbaby in her belly. This one's just grouchy all the I'm time. I'm not grouchy right now. You're always mm -hmm. grouchy. She's looking for your next son-in-law. She's looking for your next son-in-law. <laughs> My next ex-son-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what are you about? We need to... Come here. Oh. Yeah. Getting Winnie, and then you started doing your weeds to it. It'd be nice if I had some white over here. Thank you. This paint's not red enough. Are you putting it on a black balance? Oh, look. Look what it's doing. It's pulling the black paint off. Oh, this is high quality shit here now. You did say you bought a cheap one. It was a cheap one. That don't give me a warm, fuzzy feeling right there. Well. Hey, there's your timing mark. <laughs> that's a little wide. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, fucking A. This is bullshit. All right. Well, that didn't, that was a fail. Yeah, it's a good thing that we had that baby bed over there on the other side because it probably would have got a red shoe to it, too. <laughs> My bad. Everybody wanting their freaking motors red and shit. Okay, they just paint them black. Well, I mean, I normally paint them all black, but this one's mine. And then that other customer decided he wanted the same color as my motor, so... Right. Okay, so there's my red, ugly ass line. And now I've got to fix this black paint. Do you, though? <laughs> Man, I guess I don't have to. But... It makes it easier to see. <laughs> you know what? You're probably right. So, okay, let's just do the right thing and not fix that. And then we'll just wipe this little thing off right there. Yeah. Right, how am I going to do that? I get some carburetor cleaner and, and then, then take, make it, make make it, it worse. worse. We'll just leave it. Fuck it. <laughs> so, that's the timing mark. <laughs> now i got to set the rockers on, again on those two. <clears throat> and then we'll do that. I don't have to have that on camera, I don't reckon. Okie dokie. Well, then we'll be back.